Questions and comments. A member for Regina Louvain. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan, for a very eloquent speech and a very interesting history lesson. It's great to have a fellow alumnus of the Canadian University Society for Intercollegiate Debate uh, in this House. Uh, and I would ask the member for Sherwood Park, uh, Fort Saskatchewan, given his enthusiasm for secret ballots, whether he would support a system whereby we have votes in every Canadian workplace periodically on whether the employees want a union. Because it seems that the Conservatives' supposed concern for workplace democracy only starts after employees have indicated that they want a union by signing membership cards. Now, the members suggest that this period of deliberation between signing cards and the vote is a good opportunity for debate and deliberation, but would he not acknowledge the fact uh, that whereas unions have uh, essentially no access to the employees that they're trying to organize, uh, the employer has continual access to those uh, employees during work hours, the employer has authority over those workers, and that that creates a massive imbalance uh, during this period of uh, hope for deliberation. Thank you. For Sherwood Park, Fort Saskatchewan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I, I thank the member who is indeed an alumnus of, of the Canadian University for so Society for Intercollegiate Debate along with me. I understand the Prime Minister was part of that society at one time as well, uh, but he dropped out after the society could no longer afford his speaking fees. Uh, now, uh, I, I want to... Uh, I, I want to respond to his, his question, though, uh, in terms of a potential imbalance. Of course, employers have regular access to employees, and employees have regular access to each other. And both of these are different dynamics in a certification discussion. That's why we think, though, that a secret ballot makes sense. You could imagine pressure exerted by an employer. You could imagine cases in which pressure is exerted by fellow employees as well. You could imagine cases where an employee is reluctant to express their opposition to a union because if certification happened anyways, then they would, in some sense, their situation would be significantly affected by the union. So I say, why not a secret ballot? Now, he talks about why not have regular secret ballots. Well, I mean, if the state were to say that we have to have secret, we have to have votes on certification in, in, on a regular basis in every workplace, where there, even if there hadn't been any kind of expression of interest, I mean, I, I think that that's... That's relatively impractical. We, we would have to agree. Let's, let's let workers express interest, and then let's have a secret ballot in cases where that happens. That seems like the most reasonable, practical way to proceed.